Hi everyone, I'm Kim with Kim's Gifts and Decor. I hope everyone's having a great weekend. Um, I hope everyone stayed safe. We had some bad storms last night, boy. Um, winds were real strong too, and I lost power for a bit. But uh, we're supposed to get some more today. I don't know about y'all, if y'all got storms coming in, I hope you stay safe for sure. Um, I hope everyone's had a great week, and I hope everyone has good plans for the weekend. If you didn't go on and see Janine this morning at 8 o'clock at GA Morning Glory, she made some macarons. Um, makes me hungry every time I see. She did some coconut and some bourbon pecan, which sounds very interesting. Hey, Cindy, how are you? Welcome. I am making some... I wanted to do some pumpkins for fall and uh, I wasn't, I didn't want just the chunky ones that sat there. I wanted them a little bigger. Hey, Jenny, how are you? Hope you're having a great weekend or start to a weekend. Hey, Jan, how are you? Hey, Doreen. Super cute, Jan. That pumpkin was adorable. I love the two different colors with the mica powders. Oh my God, I'm going to have to get one of those. Super adorable. Love them. So um, let me show you what I'm doing here. So I went on yesterday and I'm going to do some chunky, chunky pumpkins. Um, I cut some wood and I'm going to make some pumpkins like this and the stem's going to sit like this and then we're going to decorate them. Um, I had wanted to do something different, but I just didn't want one layer of pumpkin. Hey, Jennifer, you did a great job today. It had some really cute stuff as well. Hey, Cindy. So as I was saying, if you didn't already see Jennifer, um, she was on at 10 o'clock. Today was her first day. She did great. She, she's always got some cute things in her shop, and it was it's great to have her with us And uh, on Fridays with uh, f Friday Fun Day with the Crafty Gale. So if you didn't see her, check her out. She's um, at Gen D Designs. Thanks, Doreen, I appreciate it. I just wanted something a little different here. And then um, after Jennifer was Jan with Jan C's Designs. After me, I'll give you the lineup real quick. After me um, is Willie with Willamine from Wall Decor by Faye. Hey, Jody, how are you? Welcome. And Willamine's on at one o'clock. I'm doing two coats of paint on all these, so check her out. At two o'clock is Pam with Pam's Craft Boutique. And then Jana Mays wraps it up at three o'clock with J. Marie Designed. So if you have a chance, make sure you check all the, the ladies out. Hey, Pam, how are ya? So I'm putting two coats on everything. For the orange, let me finish this. For the orange, um. I used the Deco Art Americana Jack O' Lantern. And then for the brown stem here, I used uh, Deco, Art, Deco Art Americana Milk Chocolate. A little bit of a tongue twister there. And again, I'm putting two coats on everything and letting it sit here. I'm trying to get this done for you. And then um, I did order. I saw Jan today trying to use the bow maker. The Bow Buddy from uh, Jana Mays. I ordered one. I can't wait to get it in and try this. I'm so excited to get it in. Um, Jana does have a tutorial. Hey, Margarita, how are you? Hey, Rita, how are you? Jana does have a tutorial I have to check out. I didn't do that yet on uh, J. Marie Designed, and she's got a tutorial on making a mini bow on there, so I'm definitely going to have to check that out, but I'm so excited to get it as well. Thank you so much for sprinkling, Margarita. I appreciate it. So how's everyone's weather? Are you getting bad storms? Like I said, last night we had horrible storms. We lost power for a bit. And then we've got 60% chance today and I'm still flickering, but at least my power's back on. Oh, you received your molds? Wonderful. But you love it. I can't wait to try it, Jan. 
You're going to have to post and, and show me uh, what you make with those molds, Margarita. Can't wait to see it. And then I went to Michael's today looking for some fall picks. I just don't like what they have for fall, for fall picks. I wanted some for these pumpkins. And um, I have some in my storage unit, but of course I brought some boxes out and it wasn't the right ones that I needed, but I just couldn't find what I did. You did, wonderful, Jennifer, wonderful. I'm glad to hear that. I know you said you had some big orders. Everyone's starting to do the, um, cookies for Christmas with the Christmas in July or is it something different do you know you have to start playing well make sure you let us see what you make for sure Margarita are you going to use clay or are you going to use resin do you know what you're going to do I think Jennifer you use the uh, 10 minute resin with yours don't you with your cookies your big cookie So again, two coats on this brown as well. The milk, I like the milk chocolate for the stem. Hey, Jamie, welcome. Yeah, 10 minute resin, that's what I thought, Jennifer. That's a, I love using the 10 minute resin as well. And it's not super heavy, you don't have to wait for it to dry like the plaster of Paris. And you don't have to seal it with the paint afterwards. And you can spray paint it and, or paint it with the acrylic paint with a paintbrush. And then when you drop it, like I drop everything, it doesn't crack all over the place. You're starting with clay. Resin scares you. Oh no, once you get started, it's fine. Resin's good. Hi, Ann, welcome. Watch um, Jan with the resin. Oh my goodness, I got so many more tips from Jan with the resin. I don't know where I've been, I was talking to Pam about it too, and she said, oh no, I knew that, but I don't know if I just, if it just kept going in one ear and out the other with me, with the um, the spray alcohol for the bubbles. I used to take my heat gun and put the heat gun over it or, or whatnot, and um, yeah, game changer, complete game changer. I don't know where I was. Pam says, oh yeah, I knew that. I'm like, hmm, learn something new every day. Hey, Marianne, welcome. So I must have been in La La Land when everybody was talking about that. But yeah, it's definitely a game changer. And Jan is correct. That resin boy, it's, if you don't have a level table, oh, it, it, it goes to where it wants to. That's for dang sure. Correct, yes, add the color to the resin and you won't need to paint it. That is true. Jan uses that mica powder. I haven't used that yet, not at all. Um, I kind of want to get some of that and try that. And then the, um, I know you're not, a lot of people don't. Yeah, that's amazing. That is amazing, Jan. I have to try that with my Hershey Kisses that I make to see if the bubbles come to the top with that. Because I always have to take that toothpick and then get that air bubble out. Or I've got, sometimes you get that, you know, your, your Hershey Kiss then has that air bubble in the top and it's not completely domed. <laughs> So I need to try that. But I think that heating mat helps with that too, lift everything up, doesn't it? But yeah, Doreen, I, um, my regular resin, not my 10 minute resin, um, I do use, I put some acrylic paint in there as well. And uh, that works really well. You can't do it with a 10 minute resin though. You'll have a huge mess. I did that once and it bubbled all over the place. 90% isopropyl alcohol. I was wondering if it was 70 or 90, Jan. Thank you so much. I'm going to go get that today and then um, put it in a little spray bottle and do that as well. That is the neatest trick. Like I said, I don't know where I was. Pam said, oh, yeah, I knew that. I'm like, I've been living in a bubble because I didn't know. Nose is itching. Where did you get the 90? Do they have it at Dollar Tree or do you have to go to like the pharmacy for that 90? Which color did you use, Doreen, on the cone? R with the resin in the cone. 
Did you use um, the colorant or did you use acrylic paint or did you use mica powder? What did you use? What kind of colorant did you use for that 10 minute resin? I usually get the colorant from um, Hobby Lobby. CVS has, they have it in a spray bottle already. You stole it from your husband. Oh no, Jan. He didn't go looking for it yet, did he? And CVS has it in a spray bottle. That's good to know. I'm definitely going to go there after today. Um, yeah, I'm going to pick that up for sure. I'm waiting. I was going to pour some this morning and I'm like, no, mm -mm. I'm waiting until I go get this alcohol because it's definitely a game changer. And it has to set for hours anyhow, so. He had two bottles, so he doesn't even know one's missing yet, right? <laughs> if you cannot post the video of the new tattoo, Jan, please post a picture of the tattoo at least. I want to see it. But that's funny. And you, so you were saying you want to get one on your wrist here? That barely hurt. I know, yeah, the foot. My sister has one on her foot, too. Trooper. I don't think I'd get one on my foot. Yours is 91% from CVS, Pam. Definitely going to check that out. Definitely going to get that today. Hi, Janice. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. So yeah, I'm excited about getting this bow buddy from, from Jana Mays, but now I'm a little nervous, Jan. <laughs> You've been using, you use the pigment drops, one of the yellows. Did you get those from Hobby Lobby or did you get them off of Amazon? Get some more orange. Yes, please. I would definitely want to see it if she cusses. We'll take an, a picture without the video too. So we can all see that. So everyone can see it if she cusses. And I was thinking about that love, faith, hope, love that you were saying with the symbols. Is the hope the um, the bow, the upside down bow? Amazon. I'll have to check that out, Doreen. Thanks. The heartbeat thing is cool too. My uh, last tattoo I got a couple months ago, February, I think, maybe. It's this one here. I was supposed to go with both my daughters and get this and get the same one. And my youngest daughter did not end up. She Something came up and she couldn't go. So she doesn't have it. She claims she's going to go get it, but she hasn't yet. But uh, my oldest daughter and I have the matching one there. So I'm hoping my middle daughter does follow through and go. It would be nice for all of us to have. Hi, Tarita. How are you? Welcome. That's cute though with the symbols though. I think that's really cute. I like that there. Um, that's what I have here. I have the heart with the infinity sign. I don't know if you can say it. I always go the wrong way. But um, this one is new. Yeah, this one's just a couple months old. But yeah, the one on my wrist, I didn't feel at all. Not at all. I don't, you're a trooper though. I don't think I could get one on my foot. Mm -mm. And then everybody's going, a lot of people are going to see the new Barbie movie. Pam, you're going today with uh, Maddie, aren't you? You have to let us know how it is, what the reviews are on that. You're funny, you got your first tattoo at 50. I got my first one at 30. My ex-husband says, Told me I wasn't allowed to get it. <laughs> Notice I got it anyhow, though. And uh, if I did, we were getting divorced. Well, we got divorced anyhow, but it wasn't because of the tattoo. But, <laughs> yeah. But I love my tattoos. A lot of people regret them. I don't. I love them. 
I love them. Thank you for sprinkling. I appreciate it, Tisha. Mm -mm. Make sure the stem is good. I make a mess. actually want to get another one. I want to get uh, another tattoo. Harley and I, my husband, trying to figure out what we're going to get. We want to get the same one and where we're going to get it. I think we know what we're going to get. We just have to figure out where we're going to put it now. Him and I get matching ones there. That's the last coat on there. So I've got this in-ground pool. I swear I get it ready for the dogs. My do I have a, my husband has a Weimar runner mix and I have a pit bull. Now, I didn't think pit bulls like swimming. Well, let me tell you, that dog, we've got an in-ground pool and it goes to 12 foot on the one end. Boy, does she love swimming. She just wants to be in there all the time. And we've, I went to the Dollar Tree and I got these squishy balls. They're like, um, they're fabric and they've got foam inside, so they float. They're not called squishy balls. They're like water bomb balls or whatever. And we throw them in the pool. It comes in a package of six of them, two big ones and four small ones. And oh my God, she just loves going in there and bringing them out. And she actually puts her head underwater. She's hysterical to watch, hysterical to watch. But it's like, yeah, we got the pool ready for the dogs, I think, but she's a hoot. She is a hoot. And like I said, I didn't think pit bulls like swimming, but she loves it. And then we got her from, uh, my daughter has top-notch kennels. She has a kennel that she does some breeding and stuff with. And uh, we got her from her. And she said um, her daddy loved the water as well. So, but she's a sweetheart for sure. So glad it, I got her. Trains going by. So these pumpkins here that I'm making, they measure, with the stem on top, measure four and a half inches high. And then, how wide are they? Ultimately, the overall width on them is three and a half inches, a little over three and a half inches. Got so many new molds from Timu Jan. I still haven't gone on to check them out. Are you gonna be selling that pumpkin on Sunday? I want one of those chunky pumpkins. And I got a phone stand from you or a sign stand, the glitter. I can't wait to get that. I wanna use it for my signs. I got those four by four and five by five signs. Can't wait to get that for my tear tray. gold fleck. Um, I like, I like the one you did today. Um, plain orange or, or the two mix would be wonderful, but yeah, I definitely want one of those. That was gorgeous. The biggest thing with getting them out, I, I agree with you. I have to, I have to do a video showing how to get those out as well. But um, breaking that seal, breaking that seal to get those out. Hey, Crystal, welcome. Thanks for joining. Yeah, but either an orange or a, the orange and the brown. Whatever you come up with, Jan. 
It's all gorgeous. The duck, the ducks are cute too. Those are gonna be cute, those little those keychains. And you know, you really don't need to, now that I'm thinking about it, paint the complete sides on all on these because I'm gluing them together. Duh. Got to show you, I got um, some happy mail in the mail the other day um, from Rita. She made this, which is super cute, a little dusty. It's sitting here. I've been sanding. Let me get the sand off, the dust off of it first. But look at this. Is this not too cute? Rita made this and sent it to me. It's She asked me my favorite color, and I, I like purple. One of my favorite colors is purple. So she had done the, the little gumball machine, and she's got all these little clay hearts and here isn't that adorable so she made that for me thank you rita sitting here on my desk i love it so i just wanted to say thank you again thank you jan i appreciate it but yeah with whatever you come up with is fine i love them they're adorable I'm going to go broke, I think, with everything you're making. And, you know, I, th I think you're right. I think everybody's going back to these books again and needing bookmarks. And I think that's the greatest thing. Hey, Shelby, welcome. Thanks for joining me. We're making some wooden pumpkins. I'm gonna glue all these together. There's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. You've got the five pieces for the body and then the stem, and then we're gonna put a bow on it and decorate it up a little bit. This guy's almost done. One more on here. Janine made all of us hungry this morning. I have a sweet tooth since I watched it. All I can think about is coconut now. Coconut. Coconut macaron and have uh, say a coconut drink and have a great old weekend. You just put cookies in the oven. Oh, what kind of cookies? Oh, Kelly, you're, you're teasing us too. I haven't made homemade cookies in ages. God, I'd say a good year almost. So this is how we're going to glue them all together. We're going to put the big one in the center. Then we're going to put the medium and then the small we're going to build up both sides and then let's see let's see how wide this guy is so what'd you do wrong jan so that measures about three and three quarters inches wide three and a half inches well deep and then three and a half inches wide and then four and a half inches tall chocolate chunk and snickerdoodle let me a slice and bake. Don't admit it. Just say, yeah, you made them homemade. Hey, Tracy, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Hey, there's, that, that's homemade. You, you, you sliced them, you put them on a pan, you put them in the oven. That's homemade. Come on. guy
My husband's afraid to eat anything in my house. I don't know if it's real or fake. I'm going to chip a tooth. I made Rice Krispie treats about a month and a half ago. The fake ones, because I had an order for some. You skipped a step at the end. Did you go rewatch the tutorial? I have to watch that. I can't wait to get mine. You're going to laugh at my bows today, although I used wire, wired ribbon because, yeah, storage unit issues again. But um, let's try this guy. Hey, if they want to complain about the sliced one, you don't have to make them, right? I mean, yeah, it's homemade. You hand cut them, you hand put them in the oven, you took them off, you timed them. Oh, yeah. I can't believe I'm painting both ends, like, both sides like this completely. Talk about one minute. dizzy. So I like this rapid dry from Aileen's. So I'm going to use this on my wood with the paint. So I'm just going to, this one's a little wet here still. So. Sorry. So we got tons of trees down. We have tons of branches down. Now it's all clean up again. I went and looked in the pool and it's all dirty. I have to rake that out today. You haven't seen the rapid dry. Yep, it's the rapid dry. I got it at Michael's. It sets up and dries real nice. And then I always do it on the paper so there's not too much oozing out. And then I stand it up, get it where I want it, and press it down for a few seconds. Hey, Willie, how are you? Welcome, thanks for joining us. I'm excited to see what you got going on after us. You like the Dollar Tree wood glue, Pam? I get my tacky glue from the Dollar Tree. I didn't try their wood glue yet. You can, you can paint them after you glue them together. You could. Oh, that's okay, Wilhelmine. We're all doing good, I think. I am anyhow. You could, you could put them together, glue them all together and then paint them after. I guess I'm just with all the wooden stuff, I'm just used to painting it all individual. But yeah, you could save yourself some time and do that most definitely. Use less paint as well. This stuff is stanky. Are you doing Christmas again today, Willie? That wreath last week. Did you do the wreath or the truck last week? 14 minutes is entirely too long to wait for <laughs> And then you're going to eat them straight out of the oven, Kelly, and then you're going to burn your tongue. Be careful. Don't be burning. <laughs> hey, but I bet you it's making the house smell real nice, too, from those homemade cookies. Mmm. Snickerdoodle. I never made those. A simple fall project. Can't wait to see. Strings of glue.
<laughs> Pull this over because you know I put my hand right in that glue if I don't. Yes, I just cut these yesterday, Doreen. I'm gonna put them on my website as soon as I'm done here. I just wanna finish pumpkin to list, to show with the um, pictures for the listing. And I'm also gonna offer them on Sunday uh, for a little bit cheaper price on my Etsy from the virtual fake bake sale and more, um, if you're a member of that. But if not, I am going to offer it <laughs> on um on my website, yes, kimsgiftsdecor.etsy.com or Kim's Gifts Decor on Etsy if you want to pull it up that way. Of course, I closed the glue. And I forgot to do this down. Need the stem. Now I'm doing an apple theme too, not that you want to make this look like an apple. But if you did it red, you could do a red and white gingham bow and put it on here and it'd look really cute. Now pretend this is red and then do the red and white gingham bow and put it in with your apple collection on your tiered tray or whatever and you could have some more red and white and apple theme color decor. So we've got this here. Now I cheated. I um I have wired ribbon. Okay. So I just tied it in a bow. I can't wait to get that. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad you like those. Thanks, Willie. Yeah, my apples from last week. So look at wouldn't this go really cute if it was red? This is a big one. And then put the red and white gingham bow on here. And then you could just have more red and white theme. So this is wired ribbon. This is what I had, and it's a little bit thicker. And then um, you can just put this guy on here. And you can just leave it plain if you want to. Leave it plain with the stem. Hey, Don, how are you? Thanks for joining me. Or you can dress it up, which we're going to do. And then you, if you wanted to, you can just leave it orange. Put it in whatever color you want. I like this. Thank you, Kelly. I appreciate it. But um, I just took the wired ribbon and I just made a knot and a bow. With the wired ribbon, it just stays. Um, but I can't wait to get that bow, buddy. I think, Jan, you said you can make seven different bow sizes with that. So I just made two loops, wrapped it around like tying your sneaker. Pulled it through because it's got the wired ribbon on it. The wired through the ribbon. And this is three point eight millimeters or one and a half inches the size. Six different bows. Can't wait to try it. And then the double bow. Mm, can't wait. So I just kind of made a loop like your sneakers, pulled it through and then form my little bow ends there. And then you can dovetail your, your ends or whatever you need to do. So you can just do that plain and simple and it works on there if you need to. But we are going to this one, or do I want this one? Mm -mm. 
I'm going to decorate it up with the orange and the white here. So I'm going to glue this bow on. Hot glue. Clippers here. We're going to clip some stuff off, some flowers, and just add a few flowers and stuff in here. Dress it up a little bit. Fall colors. Those snowmen came out adorable too, Jan. They're cute. I like the little arms and the hats and whatnot. Great idea to use those bases with. And you, you see them all over the place at the Dollar Tree too, so. Great idea for their body, for to put their bodies on. Okay, Willie, thank you. I'm gonna go back and watch Jan's replay. And don't forget, Jennifer Patton started today too. Thanks, Jan. Connie, welcome. Thanks for joining us. You're still going strong with all your Christmas in July, Jan. I'm loving it all. So I'm just adding a few pieces here, dressing it up some from this little bouquet of fall here. I had a, here it is, an acorn. Get this acorn off of here and put this guy on here. How's Penny doing, Pam? You 
poor thing. Every time you turn around, you got something going on with your dogs. That's good. I'm glad to hear she's good. My mom was just talking about mushrooms in her yard. Um, I said, you better be careful. And Charlotte's doing good too, right? Now, Michelle Joseph was on. She'd be asking me, how many items am I doing? So I have one, two, three. got to stay with even or odd. Yep, Charlotte is great. Wonderful. I don't know how you took her ever, almost every day for two weeks. Poor thing, you. So, and you can fancy it up or do, you know, however. Mixture decor, but one, two, three, four. So I've got three items with the stem there. And just fancy it up a little bit. Or you can leave it plain with the bow. And then you got these guys here. So just a little something, something. Or like I said, you can just put the plain bow and then just leave it. Which looks really cute. So we've got that there. I don't know, I need something else in here. I don't like it. Well, I like it, but it's not done yet. Hi Maria, thanks for, well, thanks for joining me, welcome. Thanks, Pam. Just something a little different. Let's glue this guy on here and hold it. A little more green. Thanks, Tisha. And again, if anybody wants to buy the, the wood pieces to make this themselves, I will have it on um, my Etsy site, Kim's Gifts Decor. And I will be offering it on Sunday, too, at the virtual Fake Bake fake bake Sale and Marketplace. Paulette, welcome. Thanks for joining me. You'll be there Sunday. Can't wait to see you, Kelly, on Sunday. Thank you for supporting us and joining us. There, they just added a few more to it. So I got that. You can do so many different colors, so many different... Um, things with this match your decor my bow is coming off I gotta re-glue my bow hey Wendy welcome we made this chunky pumpkin here thank you everyone for sprinkling for me thanks Kelly I'm glad you like it so again um, Janine was on at eight with GA morning glories she made some macarons Jen D. Designs was on. She did a um, terracotta potted scarecrow and some other bar type of things, fake bakes. Uh, Jan did some snowmen, and she showed, showed some resin, did some resin things. Uh, Willamine's up at 1 o'clock with Wall Decor by Faye Sunday. I'm on at 4 o'clock on Sunday. We start at 3 and go through 4.30. Um, I'm on Sunday at 4. Um, t today, Pam is on at 2 o'clock with Pam's Craft Boutique and then Jana Mays with J. Marie Design. So make sure you check everybody out if you can. If not, go on, check out the replay. You could share it for us. Um, we'd really appreciate it. And then there you go. All done. So thank you for joining me. And um, next week I'm going to do another type of pumpkin, I believe. 
Um, it's not wood though. It's not wood. So yeah, we're taking a break from wood for a bit and um, we're going to be using some fabric. So please join me next week at 12 o'clock on Friday. Hope you all have a great, safe weekend and um, make sure you check Wilhelmine out. Um, she's up after me on Wall Decor by Faye. If I can help anybody with anything, please reach out, send me a private message or um, even if it's not about this. Bye, Tisha. Thank you. But if I can help anybody with anything, please let me know. And y'all have a great, safe weekend. Take care. Bye.